Welcome to Serif Web Plus X4. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly get started and create an eye-catching, professional-looking website using one of the design templates included with Web Plus. To open a design template, choose Use Design Template from the Startup Wizard. In the Create New Site from Template dialog, the design templates are displayed in categories that you can collapse and expand. Each template comes complete with placed pictures, text objects, navigation elements and so on, and offers a choice of purpose-built site pages. All you need to do is replace the placeholder text with your own and your site is ready to publish. The templates in the Theme Layouts category are more general in design and instead of including placed pictures, they provide placeholder picture frames for you to add your own images. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a site for a fitness club, so the reactive template suits my purpose perfectly. The drop-down list at the top of the dialog lets you choose a colour scheme for your site. You can choose from three schemes specially designed to complement the template, or you can apply any of the colour schemes included with Web+. On the right, you'll see the pages available for this template site. By default, all the pages are included in the site, but you can clear the checkboxes to exclude any pages you don't want. This is a simple site with just eight pages, and you can see them listed here on the site tab. Before I make any changes to this template site, let's preview it in a web browser. Now I can click on the navigation bar to navigate through the pages of my site. Let's close the preview window and return to Web+. At the moment, the home page is open in the workspace. To open a different page, you can either double click it in the site tab or select it from the page locator list in the lower left corner. On the site tab, notice the eye icon indicating the page currently on view. The vertical order of the pages on the site tab corresponds to the order in which they appear on the navigation bar. So if I move a page, then the navigation bar updates accordingly. Similarly, if I rename a page, the name on the navigation bar changes. You've probably noticed that the three pages at the bottom of the site tab are a different colour and do not have check marks next to their names. This is because these pages are not included in the site's navigation bar. To exclude a page from the navigation bar, just right click it, choose Page Properties, and then clear the Include in Navigation checkbox. Now you can see that the Contact Us page has disappeared from the navigation bar. You may be happy with the images provided in the template, but if you want to replace them with your own, it's very easy to do. Simply select the picture, click the Replace Picture button, and then browse to and select your image file. You can also drag an image directly from the media bar onto a picture frame. When a framed picture is selected, notice the control bar that displays beneath it. You can use these buttons to pan, rotate, and zoom in and out. Now to edit the text. I click and drag to select the text, and then type in replacement text. To format text, select it, and use the controls on the text context toolbar. OK, suppose we want to add a new page to this site. To do this, I expand the Add New Page drop-down list and choose New Template Page. I select the page I want to add. Now I just open the Page Properties dialog and rename my page. Now I'll drag my page into position just below the Facilities page. My calendar page displays on the navigation bar next to the facilities page, but I want it to display in a drop-down when site visitors hover over the facilities button. To do this, I just select the page and click Make Page a Child. Let's preview the site to see how this change affects the navigation bar behaviour. Now when I hover over facilities, the link to my calendar page displays. Let's see if we can find a colour scheme that better suits this site. Click Colour Scheme Designer. Now on the Colour Schemes tab, I just choose a different scheme and click Load. All of the elements on the page that have a scheme colour applied update automatically. That concludes this tutorial. You should now be feeling familiar with the tools and techniques required to turn a design template into your own custom website.